Well, hello everyone. How's it going? Well, I'm down here in Waikiki now. It is uh, Thursday, no, not Thursday, Friday, the 24th of November, and I'm down here for the Waikiki Christmas Parade. And I'm down here this year because the parade is supposed to be celebrating not only Christmas, but the fact that we have the 65th anniversary of Pearl Harbor coming up. And the Pearl Harbor Survivors Association makes an effort to try and get all the people who are still alive down here to Waikiki for this event, for the anniversary date. And being that it's 65 years, that would mean that the people generally around the 85 year old mark, and we're losing a lot of them, it was just in the news yesterday, we lost a gentleman who had served in World War I, who was 100 and, I think it was 11. So we don't get a lot of these people around anymore. These are the heroes of America. So I'm down here to record the event, catch the Christmas parade, and uh, try and get some shots of the survivors, those that are left that are going to be participating in the parade. So you can see right now, Lots of traffic backup because parades in Waikiki are never fun for traffic and locals trying to get home or get back to their hotel for the tourists. So they're out battling that. And also for me, this is giving me a glimpse because I'm going to be walking through here in just about two weeks on the marathon. Uh, I should be walking through this area probably about 7 in the morning. Sunrise should be just coming up with the parade starting at 5. So I'm going to turn this off now and get down to my site, and I'll talk to you later.
Okay, so the parade just concluded, and you can see people starting to walk all over Palakawa Avenue as they get it ready to open up to traffic. Usually they're only given an hour for the parade. It went about an hour and 15 minutes start to end. 